ABC Kinder Teach presents Gone Wild and Endangered Animal Alphabet, written by David McLimons. Chinese alligator A A A A Despite its fierce appearance, this alligator is actually very timid, or not very brave, and spends much of its time hiding in burrows called gator holes. The most serious threat to this species is people building dams and turning marshlands into farms. Farmers see the alligator as a nuisance to be eliminated and often sell its organs to make traditional Chinese medicine. Habitat are where it lives. Swamps, rivers, lakes, ponds. Where? China? Madagascar. Tree. Boa. B. 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 The boa is a night hunter and has heat-sensitive pits around its mouth, enabling it, or allowing it, to hunt for warm-blooded prey, things to eat, in complete darkness. It is a constrictor, it squeezes, with powerful coils that tighten and suffocate prey, which means it just squeezes the things that it eats so that it can't breathe. Then by unhinging its jaw, the boa can swallow the catch whole. That means whenever it squeezes something, it just swallows it in one piece. Because of human settlement, only 15% of its original habitat, or where it lives, remains. Where does it live? Its habitat, tropical rainforest, warm and rains a lot. Where? Madagascar Naked Kerosene C C C C Naked for this unusual fish meaning that it has no scales. Perhaps even more amazing is that it is found in only one place in the world Northern Patagonia in Argentina. The fish survive in this cold, isolated environment by living in warm, thermally heated mountain creeks. But their population, the number of them, is decreasing due to the limited number of warm water creeks. So where does it live it, or its habitat? Subtropical freshwater range, northern Patagonia, that's where it lives. Blue duck, D D D D. Thanks to its large webbed feet, the blue duck can move easily through swift rapids and climb over large boulders. It also dives into powerful currents where its feet cling to boulders while feeding underwater. The blue duck is one of the most endangered waterfowl. Waterfowl are birds that are around or spend time in water. With only 2,000 to 4,000 birds left in the wild, trout competing for the same food source are currently their greatest threat to survival. And trout is a type of fish. So habitat, wetlands, Temperate forests, means not too hot, not too cold. Rivers, streams, where in New Zealand? St. Helena Earwig. E, 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 E. The myth that earwigs crawl into a sleeping person's ear is probably how this bug got its name. These rare, giant earwigs can only be found in St. Helena, a remote island where Napoleon spent the last years of his life in exile. D. 
deforestation, which means cutting down all the trees, has almost completely destroyed the island's lush tropical wilderness. No one has seen one of these rare insects in the wild since 1965. So habitat, tropical scrub and woodlands. Where? St. Helena Island. Andean Flamingo F. 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 The Andean Flamingo is marked by vibrant yellow legs and extraordinary bills that have rows of horny strainers to suck in water and food. Gathering around the world's highest volcanoes, they crowd near hot springs and salty lakes to survive the cold. Drought conditions, lack of rain, borax mining, and egg harvesting, people stealing their eggs, threaten their population. So habitat, high plateaus like flat areas that are high up, cold desert, Lakes. Where? Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Peru. Swan goose. G, G. G, G. This goose is named for its long swan like back and neck. Geese are sometimes called honkers, and the swan goose's honk or call is loud and hearty. They are friendlier than other geese, but this has endangered them because staying close to people leads to unrestricted, without being stopped, hunting and egg collection, stealing their eggs. Wetland destruction has also contributed or helped to their rapid decline or the being less of them around. So habitats, deltas, kind of flat areas, lakes, marshes, streams, where? China, Japan, Korea, Mongolia, Russia. Bushman Hare, H H H H. This hare is one of the rarest mammals on the planet, found only in dense, thick brush along rivers in South Africa's central Karoo region. With approximately 250 left in the wild, it is almost extinct. Being a fast runner and a strong jumper has not been enough to protect these hares. Habitat loss and direct threats from hunting, trapping, and wild cats and dogs endanger their population. So they live in scrubland, kind of like small bushes. And where? South Africa. Crested ibis, I, 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 I. One of the 50 rarest birds in the world. This bird's extraordinary beauty has led to the threat of extinction or them all being gone. It was systematically hunted for its long white plumes, which were used to decorate women's hats. Despite strict laws and captive breeding, breeding them not in the wild but like in zoos, programs, the crested ibis is extinct in most of its habitat. It is now only found in the Shanxi province of China where fewer than 50 birds remain. Its habitat is wetlands, kind of wet places, lake streams, temperate forest, where China, Japan, Korea, Florida, Scrub J, 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 J. The Florida Scrub, where this J lives, is one of the most endangered environments in North America because of rapid development, a lot of houses being built, because they mate for life and are fiercely territorial, means they stay where they want to stay. Attempts to relocate Florida scrub jays have not been very successful. They don't like to move. As their habitat disappears, their numbers dwindle, become less. There are only about 2,000 jays left in the wild. Their habitat is scrubland where lots of low bushes and chaparral. 
where Florida and Mexico. Keys, short winged, cone head, Katie did K K K K. Katie dids are in the grasshopper family, which contains over 6,800 species like grasshoppers. They are excellent jumpers and are well camouflaged, means hidden. With oversized jaws, they are able to eat the tough leaves in saw and cabbage palmettos. Keys, short-winged cone heads, cannot fly and have no way of traveling long distances. This probably contributes to their threatened status. Habitat, tropical rainforest, temperate forest, grassland, where? Florida. Snow leopard, L L L L. These powerful hunters can jump on prey over 40 feet away and bring down animals two or three times its size. Snow leopards are not closely related to other leopards except in name and therefore cannot roar or purr. Because they live atop high mountain peaks, their exact numbers are not known. Poaching for their fur or killing them for their fur and the decline of larger prey are serious threats to their survival. So where they live in the mountains or alpine areas? Where? Russia, Mongolia, China, Tibet, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. Prairie Sphinx Moth. M M M M one of the most incredible things about moths is the way they change from crawling, leaf-munching caterpillars into delicate winged adults. Adult moths feed on flower nectar, and in May and June they can be seen in groups, or broods, flying over sand washes and prairie blowouts. Insecticide spraying is an ongoing threat to this rare, beautiful moth. So it lives in prairie, grassy areas. Where? Southwestern United States, like Arizona. Black spotted newt N N N N Little is known about this species. Like tadpoles, their young have gills and always live underwater. Adults can be found in and around pools, ponds, and swamps. Newts must always stay moist or wet, or they die. When water is scarce, they crawl under damp logs to survive. Once common in Texas, they are now in danger due to water pollution, insecticide, chemicals used to kill bugs, and herbicide use, or chemicals used to kill weeds. Where do they live? Freshwater wetlands, lakes, where? Southern United States and Mexico. Spotted owl, oh, oh. Oh, oh. With sharp eyesight and wing feathers that allow them to fly silently, these owls are ideal nighttime hunters. Most spotted owls live in old growth forests, forests with very old trees, which have been allowed to grow freely for more than 200 years. There have been many conflicts between environmentalists trying to save this owl and loggers dependent on being able to cut old growth trees for their livelihood so they can make a living. Where? Old growth forest, temperate forest. Where? Canada, Mexico, western United States. Piping plover, P P P. P. The piping plover is a tiny, hard-to-spot shorebird. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, large numbers were shot for sport, just for fun, and hat decorations, which pushed them to the edge of extinction. In 1918, the Migratory Bird Treaty made it illegal to hunt them. 
though saved from extinction, their population has never recovered, has never gotten much bigger. They live in wetlands in the Caribbean islands, Cuba, Mexico, Great Lakes, Atlantic Coast, Gulf Coast regions of the United States. Spotted tail qual, Q, 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 Q. With a strong body and teeth, this fierce marsupial attacks medium-sized mammals by biting the back of the skull or neck. It is a night hunter and communicates using a variety of hisses, cries, and screams. Since the 1990s, its numbers have declined dramatically or went down a lot. As forests are increasingly opened up for logging, this quoll might be unable to survive. So where? Tropical rainforest, scrubland. Location is in Australia. Black rhinoceros. R, R. R, R. One of the largest free roaming, roams around, mammals left on earth. Rhinos are important to the ecosystem because they eat a variety of plants which can take up to three days to digest, transport them, and then deposit them as droppings that end up getting planted. Although protected, they are often killed for their horns, which are used as a fever-reducing ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine. So they live in savanna, kind of dry, flat places, scrubland, desert. Where do they live? Cameroon, Chad, Namibia, South Africa, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. Oriental White Stork, SS. S S. These solitary birds, they hang out by themselves, like to build nests high up in forests, giving them a good view of the surrounding area. Extinct in Japan, South and North Korea as a wild breeding bird, their total population is estimated at 2,500 in the 1990s. The Three Gorges Dam project in China's Hubei province will endanger many parts of the stork's wintering ground when completed. So where? Temperate forest, wetlands, coastline, tidal flats, countries, Bangladesh, China, India, Japan, Korea, Mongolia, Myanmar, Philippines, Russia, Taiwan. Andean taper, T, 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 T. This long-snouted relative of the horse inhabits forests high in the Andes Mountains with a preference for moist or wet habitats where it can bathe often. Land clearing for agriculture and livestock are the main causes of the Andean tapir's decline or going down in numbers. Highland Indians use tapirs, hooves, and snouts as medicinal remedies for epilepsy and heart problems, devastating the surviving population. So they live in alpine or very cold climates, chaparral, cloud forest, Riverine Meadow, where? Colombia, Ecuador, Peru. Bald headed Yukari, you, you. You, you. The bald Yukari has a face that changes color from pink to red depending on its mood. Being a treetop specialist, it rarely touches the ground, it means it stays in the tree all the time. They are hunted for meat in Peru and for bait in Brazil, where they are not eaten because their faces look too human. They are extinct in much of their former range in Peru because of hunting and logging or cutting down trees. So habitat, tropical rainforest in Brazil and Colombia. Baluchistan vol V V V V 
voles are rodents and 40% of all mammals in the world are rodents. Despite a bad reputation, voles are ecologically important and provide a vital food source for many predatory animals. But to the farmer, they are crop destroying pests to be eliminated. As more and more land is cultivated, which means tilled up, for farming and housing, their numbers continue to decline. They like to live in grasslands in Iran. Ethiopian Wolf W W W W Ethiopian wolves live in a very small territory confined to isolated grasslands in the mountains of Ethiopia. There are fewer than 500 Ethiopian wolves left due to overgrazing and competition with wild dogs. As their population gets smaller, wolves have begun to mate with wild dogs, which is also a threat to their survival as a species. So where do they live? Scrubland, grassland, alpine grassland. Where? In Ethiopia. Xenopus gilly X X or the Cape Clawed Frog. X X. The Xenopus gilly is an unusual frog. It has no tongue and only lives in cold black acid water. Found only in the southwestern region of South Africa, where it has become one of the most endangered amphibians in the world. The Xenopus gilly is very sensitive to changes in water chemistry. Land development and dam construction have destroyed many of this frog's natural habitats. So it likes to live in wetlands and marshes in South Africa. Wild yak. Why, why? Why, why? Wild yaks have adapted to live at high altitudes high up and harsh conditions with many more blood cells helping their bodies carry more oxygen. They also have thick coats and a low number of sweat glands which helps conserve body heat. Once found throughout the entire Tibetan plateau, its range has now been cut in half due to competition with ranchers raising domestic livestock. It likes to live in high altitude alpine tundra and cold desert in Tibet, China, India, and Nepal. Grivy's zebra. Z, 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 Z. The Grivy's zebra spends up to 80% of its time eating, although it can survive both extreme heat and thirst and has very keen eyesight and hearing. Its population has declined by 70% in Kenya. They have always been hunted for their beautiful striped hide, but competition with domestic livestock and overgrazing are the main reasons their numbers continue to decline. So they like grasslands, savanna, and plains in Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia.